Guys, it's Sword, the Wilderness Outdoor Boys, and today I'm going to be showing you something uh, a little bit different. Um, we're going to be making a sparrow trap. I'm actually down here in our basement, so if it's a mess, we're redoing the basement. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what you're going to need. You're just going to use some, uh, I just got some string here, uh, some black tape, uh, a pair of tough kitchen shears. And then I just got these at the dollar store, these little, um, they're like grilling racks. Uh, they're pretty, pretty small. So nothing I'm going to get through them. I mean, it's just like a uh, disposable grill topper or something. That's what it's called. I got one round one and a, four of these square ones. So I'm going to go ahead and make a, a repeating sparrow trap out of these. So um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I just went ahead and removed all the tags. So now we're going to go ahead and actually start building it. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top, uh, the round one here. I'm going to take these and I'm going to bend it around to fit it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and use my string. So let me go ahead and get that ready. Okay, so what we got here is just some poly twine. I went ahead and got this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bought it like a dollar store for $1.50. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all ready and tie it on there.
Okay, sorry about that. My camera actually died on me. Um, I've kind of constructed something of a circle here. Um, this is going to be the cage right here. It's going to be a repeating spur trap, so I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, doors in it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here, I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut right up here. Cut like that. I'm going to go to the other side. Cut up to about the same exact thing. I'm just going to take this and bend this right back here like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that to every one of these. Just bend them all back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to every one. Then I'll go ahead and turn back on the camera and show you that. Okay, so what I'm done now is I just cut this chunk here. This is going to be the sides for our doors. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that. I think I'm going to put it in this way. Go ahead and measure that to right about there. Comes down to this one. Go ahead and cut that. Let's go ahead and get it up through here. So you went ahead and cut, and cut that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to just take it. And you're going to mount it on just like this. So we'll go ahead and put it on the other way. I'm going to go ahead and put that on and I'll show you once I'm finished. Okay, so I'm sorry, I messed up. I um, meant to cut it at an angle. So what you want to do is you're going to want to put it in there like this. Then you're going to tie that onto there so it's at an angle so whenever they go in, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you. Okay, so now I just went ahead and bent this at an angle here, 90. Um, so we can go ahead and just put it on there like this. I do want to say though, be careful, this stuff is really sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down on here like this, and I'm going to tie that on and I'll show you once I'm finished. Okay, so at this point, this is what my doors look like. Um, I think I might put something in here that they have to push in, but I'm not sure. But that's pretty much what I've done so far, so uh, well, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest once it's all finished. Okay, so we're out here. Got our trap all made here. Um, that uh, traps all made it's got three doors in it um, this should work hopefully um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty set it about right in there I'll go ahead and make a little spot for you and then I'll turn back on the camera okay so we went ahead and got it all made here I'm just gonna be using some of this uh, bird seed and bought it down at the dollar store All in all, you can make this trap for around uh, six dollars if you include buying the string. Talked about five bucks in those uh, for these uh, real racks. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw up these birds right here. Nice big old pile of it. And we're gonna go ahead and take. I'm gonna have to go ahead and stake this bird trap up because uh looks like the wind's gonna actually blow it away, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you. Okay, so I went ahead and got it all set up. The camera dies. Um it's because uh, my camera's actually dead right now, but I went ahead and set it all up. I actually had to stake this trap down. I'm gonna go ahead and put some bait around the outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But if the camera shuts off, you'll know why. So um, I'll go ahead and do that real fast. Just sprinkle it right outside each door. So give the bird something to want to go in the trap after. So they want to go inside. But, well, there you go. Um, check out the rest of our videos at the Wilderness Outdoor Boys. Or check out our uh, blog at www.thewildernessoutdoorboys.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.